Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to do lip swatches for you and give you a review of L'Oreal's brand new Infallible La Matte Resistance Liquid Lipsticks. These are currently available through retailers like Ulta and I purchased mine through Amazon which seems to have it for the most affordable price. Always check the description box, I list always the most affordable place that you can find them online to purchase if you're interested. Thank you so much for following the channel and subscribing. You can also go and follow on Instagram. If you missed the last video, please go ahead and check it out. I'll link it in the upper right hand corner for you to watch if you haven't already. So the price ranges, it seems like it's most expensive at Ulta Beauty at almost $14. If you buy them on Amazon, they are less than $11. Let's go ahead and look at the claims for what we should get out of the product before we test them out. L'Oreal says that these have a powdery matte formula that is supposed to last for up to 16 hours with bold color payoff in one swipe. The formula is also supposed to be transfer and smudge resistant so that you get an all day matte finish wear. The formula is infused with hyaluronic acid and is supposed to feel comfortable. So that hyaluronic acid is supposed to give the formula a hydrated and lightweight feel on the lips. When we look at the ingredients, the very first ingredient is a dimethicone. So you're going to get that matte feel on the lips and that matte look presumably. And then there is perfume at the very end of the ingredients list also. In the entire range, there's a total of 12 shades. And in this video, I have nine of them to share with you. Here's an up close look at the tubes. You can see that each of them has a different color tube, which I kind of like. It indicates to you what the color is supposed to be like inside. So you have sort of a matte satin finish on the tube. Color, number, and name are on the bottom. You get 0.6 fluid ounces or five milliliters in each tube. And these twist out. Ooh, it's kind of hard to get out of the tube there. And you get a slanted and pointed teardrop flat doe foot applicator. All right, first shade up 100 is fairy tale ending. All right, this is a pale pinky peach based nude color. One oh five is breakfast in bed. And this is more of a beigey pink, deeper nude shade. One fifteen, snooze your alarm. And this is more of a brick toned medium nude shade. One twenty, major crush. Now we're getting into more of like a rose. Still a little dusty pink color. Two ten tropical vacay. Another carnation pink shade, more of a peach tone. Two thirty shopping spree. Now we're moving into deeper pink, almost going into like a red. Two forty five French kiss. Very bold pink shade. Five hundred wine knot. This is going into a plum wine color. Five 
560 payday. And this one is more of a bright, deeper purple. All right, there are your shades swatched. Nice pigmentation on these. You can see it's not completely opaque on all parts. Some of them are still drying down, but you can see from the first one, which is definitely dried more matte compared to the ones that still have slightly glossy sheen that are still drying. So I'm gonna let these sit for a couple of minutes before we do a swipe test. All right, here's the pretty much full dry down. It's been several minutes now. Let's do our favorite swipe test. Oh yeah, these hold up really nicely. A little bit of transfer still, but that's pretty freaking good for a comfortable matte lip. So you just that minimal amount of smearing. And then the makeup wipe test, see how hard it is to remove. Yeah, so definitely gonna have nice long wear formula. And some staining likely left behind too. So after having worn all of these shades, here are my thoughts. Um, fairly easy to apply with that pointed applicator. Of course, with the last few shades that are brighter and deeper, yeah, you're gonna have to spend a little more time to get rid of those streaks, any unevenness, keeping those lines crisp, etc. But overall, nice color to these. Definitely not one swipe opaque pigmentation as claimed on any of the shades. Uh, but, you know, you can easily work most of them up to get an opaque layer if that's what you want. I am surprised how comfortable these are. So they do eventually dry down to that matte finish without giving you that super drying, pruning effect to the lips. So I would say that the claim that it's comfortable to wear and that it feels lightweight holds true. Um, even though there is a fragrance added to these, I didn't really detect one. And I think that if I hadn't taken a look at the ingredients list beforehand, I don't know that I would have been able to say that there is a scent that's been added to this, which is nice because uh, a lot of the time that fragrance that they add is not appealing to a lot of people. So not a strong, if even detectable, fragrance for these. So overall, those are my thoughts. Definitely a long wearing formula for sure. Gonna give you lots of transfer resistance, smudge resistance, etc. So that's a nice thing to have with a comfortable formula. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions, if you had a favorite shade out of the set that we saw, or any other comments. I hope this was helpful to you if you were interested in these. As always, thanks so much for taking the time to watch the video, and I'll see you in the next one.